it's Mark Carrier, and I'm here to talk to you about three keys for creating great offers. Now, you know, after you're sure you've identified the right target market, the second most important factor in successful direct marketing campaigns, in my view anyway, is making the best offer. You need to construct your offer so they get your prospects' attention. And in getting their attention, offers need to appeal to prospects emotionally and inspire desire they combined with your call to action, motivate them to act now. An offer should provide a solution to solve uh, one of your customers' uh, problems, appeal to one of their deep-seated needs, or entice them with something they really want. Your offer needs to show real value, something that customers can easily see as it relates to them. It doesn't matter a tick if you think the offer is a good deal. What matters? is that your customer or potential customer thinks it's a great deal for them. Remember, it's all about them, it's not about you. When creating offers in my direct marketing campaigns, I always consider these key elements. Emotion versus logic. When we buy things, we usually get emotional about the product first, and then find logical reasons why we need that product, don't we? Some of you might question this, and if you're one of them, let's consider the following scenario. Let's say you've run out of washing detergent and you need to run to the store to get more. When you arrive at the store, you notice that they don't have your particular brand. Now, if you're me, like me, uh, that on its own is enough to get me emotional. In any event, you walk down the aisle and start to look at all the different brands you, you can buy. And isn't it amazing how many different brands there are these days? You have so much to choose from, but do you just go for the cheapest brand? No, not really, you know, unless you're a confirmed bachelor on a pension or a university student. You know, of course, what most people do is check out the prices and then what it says on each box, or vice versa. So, you know, before deciding on what brand to buy, or if they don't have much time, they pick the pretty package that says it will do the job. And if it comes down to two different brands of the same price, usually we'll choose the brand that we feel will do the best job for the money. That's emotion, not logic, isn't it? So, when I say your offer needs to appeal to your prospect emotionally, what I mean is that you need to tug at their heartstrings, massage their hot buttons. You do this by describing what your product will do for them and how much they'll benefit from it, rather than what it does. People spend too much time telling people what something will do rather than what it will do for them. That's very important. The next thing to consider is value versus price. Considering all the different mediums advertisers use today, consumers are literally bombarded with thousands of offers every day. Even if we had all the money in the world, we couldn't buy everything. So consumers make value judgments when considering those offers that get their attention by weighing them up. Think about it as if a customer has a weighing scale. On one side, they consider an offer's value to them, and on the other side, they consider its price. Now, if the value side of the scale is higher than the price side, they'll buy it. If the price side is higher than the value side, they won't. So when we think about your offer, you should concentrate on what represents value to your customers, not what you think should va represent value to them. Put yourself in their shoes and think about their needs and what they want not your needs or what you want. So the difference between value and price is, value is subjective. It's personal and it's an emotional decision. Value is what it's worth to them. Price is simply what they pay for. The best way to position your offer is always to enhance its value through the benefits it provides and belittle its price. The other thing you need to consider with offers is, how does your offer compare versus your competitor's offers, okay? None of us have the market all to ourselves. You know, there are others out there uh, that we're competing with for the same consumer dollar. Just like washing detergent, there are other options a consumer can choose from. Now, with this in mind, you need to ask yourself, why should a customer choose you over your competition? You need to think about what you're offering that's different, better, and has more emotional appeal than your competitor. You need to consider what your product or service will provide that will make the consumer's life easier or more enjoyable than what your competitor has to offer. To sum it up, 
you need to get your prospect's attention and inspire them to contact you straight away. The best ways to do this is with an offer that appeals to them emotionally, represents value to them, and is a better deal than what your competitor is offering. So thanks for your time and I hope you find this helpful. Any of the uh, templates that I've uh, displayed, budget templates and things like that, uh, they're all available on my blog, so I invite you to go there and you can download them from my blog or find a link to them and you can reach that at www.whatsaleadworth.com or uh, simply send me an email if you're on LinkedIn. You'll find me there, Mark Carrier, M-A-R-C-C-A-R-R-I-E-R-E. -R -R -E. Good luck and have fun. Bye-bye.